Okay, so here's the panel drawing for this 24 by 48 slab on grade. You can see we're looking at a bird's eye view of the building, 24, 48, and you can see how our corners are labeled out here. And really, people always ask, do you need to start with panel number one? No, you do not need to start with panel number one. Start in whatever corner works for you. Uh, we're simply labeling the panels um, according to which corner we start in when we draw it. These drawings are very detailed. If you look at it, it's giving us uh, different details of all the, there's three different wedge details for this building and that's the the only three special details. Other than that it has our our standard construction details that you'll see in our construction guide. Uh, we start with the sections. We have building section A, building section B, A and B going right here. So you can see the two different ways we're doing this. The thing I want to point out right now is we're going to start in corner number three and number four laying the plates. Now we have a slab on grade here so we have a treated base plate which is what you're seeing just laid out right here right now. We have the, the holes already drilled for the bolts coming up and we are actually going to, when we look at this corner right here, we want to lay these treated plates opposite of the way we have them right here. This is for our panels and that's going to be a whiteboard that sits on top of the treated plate. On the other side of the panel drawings uh, we have the actual inside layout of the actual wall. So I want to point this out to you that when you're looking at this you are always looking from the inside of the house that you're standing inside on the floor. So panel number one we can see right here is a 24 foot panel. We have two windows cut into that. These blue lines are the electrical chases. They're, they're basically two foot from a corner and then they're four foot on center as you go down that panel. You also see this one down at the bottom which is a, a the outlet chase and then up here is the switch chase. Now you see those blue lines in every panel and that's the electrical chases in there. When you see a dotted line like this it means an inch and a half setback. When you see this right here it's it's a what we call a spline connection that's our box spline and we'll get to that later. Um, you're also seeing the roof panel layout here. Here we have one plane of the roof and here we have the other plane of the roof. And you can see that we have these blue lines in it for the electrical chases and these lines are for tail pockets which we'll have them zoom over there and you can see the holes within the panel for these tail pockets. They go up two feet into the panel and it helps build our overhang.